<sighs> so the atheist gamer has mentioned me again in one of his stupid whiny videos. I thought we'd moved on from this, but clearly not. Thanks Baron for bringing this to my attention once more. Okay Tag, what do you want this time? You already know from the title of this video on what, I'm, what this is about. Yes Tag, we know, and why the hell are you shrouded in darkness? Did you not think to turn your light on? Is your light on? You can see what the camera is picking up, right? on why I do these things. Well, my original intent was to become popular enough to help other YouTubers in a similar sense of on how certain YouTubers who get enough um, subscribers or enough viewers would tend to have guest speakers on their channel. Really? You gave us the impression you were on here for the popularity itself. But if you want to help people, you can help people already. You've got 2,000 subscribers, which is 2 times bigger, if not 20 times bigger, than most channels at the moment, because there are plenty of young, upcoming channels with barely any subs, if at all, that could do with your input, for your shouting out. Yet you're not shouting them out. You're instead complaining about me and bearing and other YouTubers who are more popular than you. Priorities, Tag. Priorities! The thing is, is that it took me about three to four years to get the amount of subscribers that I have today. And even longer considering that I was on YouTube way before the whole anti-feminist thing. You're not the only person on YouTube that is dealing with this kind of thing. I saw a video by Eagle Eye 1975 who's been on YouTube for 10 years who only has a couple hundred of subs. I think it's about 700 plus. I could be wrong. And he's been on there longer than you. You're not the only person. Stop thinking it's all you that this problem only affects you. It doesn't. You're not the only person who hasn't had much growth since, I don't know, year 2008 or something ridiculous like that. You are not the only one. And by the way, you've had a lot of growth recently because of your little spats with bearing and because you keep whining all the time. And believe me, they're not the kind of subs that you want. Not because these subs are awful people, but because they're subbing to you for ironic, cringy reasons. Do you want subs that sub to you because they like you? Or do you want subs that sub to you because they don't like you? I was an anti-feminist before it was cool. Yeah, you could say that. Whoa, we got a badass over here. But the thing is, is that I really legitimately tried my very best to entertain every one of you. Clearly, it's not enough. My best was not enough. My apparent avatar is, I guess it's just too boring. Yeah. That's the excuse. It's just too boring to watch. You know, fuck the points that I made. Fuck the jokes I made. No, it's the avatar. Tag, please stop lying. You know damn well it has nothing to do with your avatar and has everything to do with those jokes and points that you make. If you didn't make videos where you just attack the person of young people aged 11 to 14 and instead just focused on their points and made jokes about how their ideology or their ideas are stupid and not the fact that these people happen to be people. Unless, of course, it's a roasting video, but you're making it out to be a response video, which means you're responding to their ideas, as well as what they're like. Maybe you'd be more respected, and maybe people wouldn't be calling you out. I'm just wondering, Tag. I'm just wondering. It's always have to be me. Well, that's ironic, because all you ever do is complain about you and how you're not popular and not successful and how people are complaining about you. You, 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 you. But you're too stupid to see that irony, so I have to point it out. But the thing is, is that despite my fat, the fat... <laughs> Let's have a repeat of that. Despite my fat, the fat... One more time. Despite my fat, the fat... Despite my fat, the fat... Okay, okay. One last time. Despite my fat, the fat. Now what the hell? One more. Despite my fat, the fat. Yes, is that? Despite my fat, the fat. Despite my fat, the fat. That's a roast tag. That is a roast. That I'm pretty much an underdog. In, for, even though I've been here for years now. You know, there's something in this scene that just keeps bugging me. I keep seeing something, and it's, it's really annoying me. I can't quite wait it, it's right there it's right there
Good lord. It's a participation trophy. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Call my name and save me from the night. I've been trying my very best to come up with new ways to tackle the situation when it comes to feminism. I always um, create uh, special videos whenever I reach a certain amount of subscribers. I try to entertain, uh, make a few jokes, I, I even made a few songs. Trust me Tag, we don't want to know about it. But overall, it's just not enough. It's just... I tend to get more viewers when I make these special videos. But not that much. Do you mean special videos like this, where you just complain about YouTubers on and on and on about how the world is against you and how everything is unlucky? Or do you mean these special videos where you put effort and thought into your videos and people reciprocate by subbing? I'm going to make you guess which one I mean, Tag, and which one gets you the views and the subs. It's just really pathetic and sad that I put all this effort in for what? A mere... 400, 500 views. That's, you know, pretty fucking sad. Tag, you don't put enough effort in in all your videos. That's why you only get 400 viewers each video. But even then, that's 400 viewers that continue to watch you, plus some people who have just found you for the first time. Surely, they must find something good in you that isn't cringe to keep coming back for more. Right? And again, if you just put a bit more effort into every video, and not just a few special ones, maybe you'd have as much as me, or a Megan, or anybody like that. You never know. Oh, also, stop being a cunt, but you've already been told that. Charming Man 93 That's not my name. This is my name. Charming Man 98 Nah, just kidding. This is my name. My name is Jeff. You can get the same amount of viewers just by just talking. No editing, no nothing, just simply being himself. I can't do that. I can't do that despite the fact that I somehow do the exact same thing as Charming Man 93. Yeah. You see, you like to make a point that we don't watch your videos, so therefore we're wrong about you. Well, it's quite clear that you don't really watch my videos anymore, because I know you used to, so you do know that I don't just talk. You know I don't just sit there, be myself, and pump out a video. Oh look, uh, 800 views, 1000 views, or what have you. You know I do more than that, you know I actually do go through the whole video point by point, I might edit some things in there. I do actually edit, by the way, like I did just before then. I will do things. In fact, I'll even make videos where I'm not myself. In some early videos, I played an Australian character. And in some other early videos, I'm doing impressions of people. And in fact, I still do impressions in videos. So yeah, I'm not always being myself. I'm not always just sitting there and just not editing, just being myself. And it's not just the technical side either, I have to go research points sometimes that I'm not familiar with. I have to make sure that these statistics are right or these things that somebody's saying is correct or is true. Sometimes I might forget and people point that out and that's great. But don't kid yourself, we're not the same mate. We've never been the same. I also don't go around complaining about how I'm not getting enough views and all that bullshit. I don't do what you do. I don't make videos like this. I keep that stuff to myself or I talk to friends about it because why would I tell the public that which would turn them off? It would make me look ridiculous. Keep your inner monologue to yourself. You might look less desperate if you were to do that mate, I'm just saying. But if you guys knew me at all, is that there's a time and place where I tend to make fun of myself. What was I saying earlier about if you just knew me, if you just watched my stuff, you might know that I did the piss out of myself and all this stuff. Yeah, he does the same thing to me. For example, I tend to make pedophile jokes. I, some people will accuse me for uh, looking like a pedophile, so 
uh, sometimes I tend to uh, act like a pedophile, like, oh man, what color your panties are. <sighs> They're insulting you. They're not accusing you. And yeah, it's not funny. Not because pedophile jokes aren't funny, just that you are not funny. Like the typical anti-feminist video you see on YouTube, it's starting to get really fucking old. Well, don't make those videos anymore. Make a video on something else. Completely change the direction of your channel. The power is in your hands, after all. It's every time I see a pro-feminist video, they tend to make the exact same argument over and over and over again. And I realize that I'm responding to the exact same video over and over again. There's no variety in these videos. Some of these people are literally just lacy green clones. Well, why don't you respond to some of the Christy Winters clique? They're always trying to think of new ways to stay relevant and trying to defend their terrible ideologies. They've got loads of interesting ideas. Or you could not debunk them and debunk people like the alt-right. Or conspiracies and stuff like that. Come on, there's loads of stuff out there. Or current events. Again, the power is in your hands to change if you think it's getting samey. But instead, you want to pander to us. You want to pander to people. And that's your issue. And my video on that girl... I was literally, I, I was pointing, just jabbing myself with a stick um, about on how I'm literally just responding to the exact same video over and over again. Oh, an atheist game is special where he lies. No, that was not the reason why I did that video and that's not what you did in that video. Just because you deleted it doesn't mean people don't remember. You see, you made a response to her, but you didn't respond to any of the points she made. You just insulted her as a person. Now, maybe that's good for a roasting video, but when you're responding to someone who's making a point, like an argument, you're supposed to attack the argument, not really the person. That's what you did. You attacked her as a person. That's what you did. You weren't attacking yourself at all. That was not the point of the video. Stop trying to rewrite history and stop lying. And this is why we don't like you. And this is why you'll never make it big. Because you're not just shit, you're dishonest. And I knew that for s that if I made that video, probably very few people were going to watch it. Because it's the exact same content again and again and again. Again, showing that you're clueless and you're just making excuses for yourself. Firstly, most people on the anti-SUW side don't make videos like that. They make videos where they attack the argument, yes. They insult a person, but as long as that insult is not the argument itself, that's okay. This is something you don't get. You were not making a video that is the same as every other video. You were making a video that is the same as a very small minority of videos. But hey, whatever, excuse yourself. But unfortunately, the likes of Bearing seems to uh, watch those videos. Yeah. I don't know. Why all of a sudden Baring would watch my videos? Not that he commented on any of them, nor did he like any of those videos. No, he had to decide to go after me. Most viewers of YouTube videos do not comment or like anyway, and you're asserting his actions. And by the way, I don't know how he came across your video. I assume people showed it him, and he thought to himself, well, this makes anti feminists and anti HWs look bad. We need to show people that we do not just tolerate videos like that, that we actually tell the person who's making those videos that that's not right, this is how you do it. That's what he was doing. He wasn't going after you. He wasn't trying to lead a witch hunt against you. Stop playing the victim. This is the thing that I hate the most, is that when, when people start paying attention at the wrong times, when they decided to go after me like that. Well, it's your own fault if you weren't such a cunt, if you weren't so dishonest, if you weren't being such a nasty person to that girl and instead put time and effort into your videos like you claim to, maybe you wouldn't have this unwanted attention and you'd have good attention for once. It pisses me the fuck off that only now when I started to see the patterns, when I started to make fun of myself again, when I started to look all creepy again, all of a sudden people started watching people started to care. I am seriously thinking that this little 
community we have where we all gather up to make fun of feminists we're really fucked up in the head no 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 nobody cared about you in particular people only started to care because you were being a dick it wasn't because you were trying to be funny or acting in a certain way in your videos apart from when you were being horrible to people. No, this community is not fucked up because you fucked up. No, it's perfectly fine if it even exists, which I don't think it exists. It's all to do with you. It's your fault. And this is the problem. You can't own up to your mistakes. But hey, what do I know? You know nothing, Jon Snow. And then he repeats himself, making the same points about how we're just going to repeat ourselves again and again, and he's sick of it, blah 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 blah, wah 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 wah, and then he gets to this. There's really nothing more to say. Outside of, I'm supposed to sincerely apologize. I don't know how sincere I can be, considering that I, I, I really don't know how to be truly sincere about this. Well of course you don't know how to be sincere because you're not sincere. You don't care whether or not you fucked up or not. You are pathologically incapable of admitting you were wrong and finding out where you were wrong in the first place. I will tell you how to improve but that would just be going over old ground. I'm not gonna repeat myself am I? And quite frankly it's starting to get really really fucking annoying on how I'm not being sincere enough because <laughs> it's just really fucking sad so this is as sincere as possible and if it's not sincere enough for you jackasses then feel free to leave my fucking channel so Morgan TV. I am truly, truly very sorry that I insulted you. I'm truly sorry that I provided no facts to back up my claims, despite the fact that I literally pointed out that this is the exact same pro-feminist videos that's been on YouTube for years now. And I even pointed out that you would probably not check the facts. You would probably not even bother to look at the video. And yet, surprisingly, you do. Yes, how very odd that the very first time that the atheist gamer gets it wrong and then everyone has to come in and say that this jack, that this guy has to be wrong. But you know what? Fuck bearing fans. Alright? Fuck those bastards. This is about you, Morgan. So, I am sorry that I did not provide any facts. Let's see, what else? I'm sorry that I told you to kill yourself. Well, actually I didn't tell you directly to kill yourself, but you get the idea. I am very, very, very sorry that I have told you to kill yourself. Indirectly. Uh... I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry that I attempted to send you my fans over to your channel to dislike your video, to hate on you, cause you misery. I don't know what else, despite the fact that I don't really have um, that many viewers, not many subscribers, by comparison to other YouTubers. Seriously, I don't have that many followers. I'm hardly a blimp on the radar. But, you get the idea. I am sincerely, sincerely, really freaking sorry for all of this. I hope that you and I can become friends. 
I, I did my best. This is the sincerest apology that I've done, ever. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Goodbye. It seems like he hasn't learnt a single lesson over this saga. So that's the end of his video, and it's the end of my video. One like, and you get your very own Atheist Gamer cap that you can wear around and be the Atheist Gamer with. One comment, and you get your very own bearing response, complete with him as Patrick. So, until next time, don't forget to donate to the Patreon, don't forget to share the video, and I'll see you all later. <laughs> Thank you.